Hey. How are you? Good. Steve, right? Yeah. Yeah. Chris. Chris, nice to see you again. Yeah, good to see you too. Jenny's yeah, husband. Yeah. I think I just met your daughter. Marlena? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to walk down to the beach. Okay, good. You got the right shoes on. Yeah, document it a little bit here. <laughs> Don't fall down. Okay. <laughs> Deep Peninsula, Puget Sound, Washington State. Hey Don. How are you doing? Good. Good to, Good to see you. <laughs> I think the last time I saw you was at this place, wasn't it? Yeah, it's been a few years. I yeah. think you've been here. You remember Nancy, my daughter? Oh, sure. Hi, Nancy. Good to see you. Good to see you. So, what is this? Um... This is a GoPro. Oh, okay. So, this is a. I'm actually making video right now. Because we, uh, we of course, we had our fires, you know, around Colorado Springs, mostly 2012 and then 2014. But there's one very popular trail, Waldo Canyon Trail, and it's still closed. Yeah, because what happened was it, it burned. They didn't want people to go in there because they were afraid of deadfall, you know. And then we had floods because there was no more vegetation to stop the rain, so the rain would just come flooding through and it completely scoured the trails. The trails are all gone. Yeah, that's where we started, don't worry. Where they did integrate, hardened everything, so even like science and math, they would integrate them in the purpose. Yeah, and that would, he loved them. Right? So I'm just hoping yeah. that's not Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing, is like there's nothing, I mean, you, I mean there's Montessori schools, or Waldorf schools, or other examples. Back whenever, beginning of time where actually, you know, education is actually like, you know, integrated into the way that we live our lives, but done a really good job in the last 150 years of separating education from life to a point where, you know, you know, I mean, with the food thing in particular, back in the day, it was a farm down the street. Of course, the farm from the, down the street goes to the school, but now it's this huge, technically regulated school nutrition programs that are actually super detrimental in terms of actual nutrition education to young folks. Yeah, So, document a little bit of this here. Who knows that this was before? I've never actually seen anybody using one up close. Well, yeah, this is a GoPro camera. Normally it's used like on helmets or, you know, in race cars or whatever, but I put it on a selfie stick and then I can, uh, I actually take it when I go on runs or when I'm doing races or just walking around. Oh yeah. yeah. Sorry, you're just old hat because you're here every year. So it's like, oh, like whatever. Yeah. So where's your lovely wife? Unfortunately not here because I haven't been, we were, did the whole Alaska thing. So. so I was going down to the beach and these dogs came running up and they were all wet. So I guess they were just down there swimming in the water. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing.
That's where they're wiped out. They just, they just run and talk to each other on the beach for two hours. Hey, How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to have another photo on. Well, yeah. We started. Got to get a little bit of film here. Uh, I got to stand between oh, okay. with you, between me and the camera. Germany. So. Around the north so thanks for stopping back over. Huh? Yeah, just a uh, quick trip. What happened to Natalie? She's not. She's coming. Well, she is coming. Yeah. Yeah. I, I paid three hundred euro, I think, per month for my own room and an apartment and utilities and everything included. So, and then in LA, it's like nine hundred minimum. So it's a lot cheaper, and the food is cheaper and everything. So you'll like it a lot. It's just really cold. So. In the yeah. winter, yeah. especially Berlin. Yeah. I know. I I'm kind of tired of like the cold, like this latitude, you know. So I think I'm gonna go to California for a little while, like a year maybe. Yeah. And then work on and then go. To Germany. Yeah. I think that's a good plan. In the summer, it's beautiful, but in the winter, you gotta wear like ten layers of clothes. <laughs> does it snow there? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Depends on where you go. It snows more in certain areas, and where I lived, it only snowed maybe for about a week or so, and then the rest of the time it's just... Okay, <laughs> 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 that's good so, to know. But it's pretty. Yeah. I just like the snow better in like photos and not actually <laughs> being in it for that long. Well, I like the snow. That's one thing about it here. It's kind of... You can take up ski... Have um, you been skiing before? Um, yeah, snowboarding more. Snowboarding, you can do that. There's yeah. tons of places for that, so... I tried skiing, but it's not... <laughs> not very good. Um, Try it again. Hello. We're talking about snow. Yeah, sure. I'm finishing our deck. My cousin Steve. Thank you, Adam. I remember a couple years ago, right? Well, he was here about five or six years ago. I think that's probably the only time he goes over. I met him, so maybe when you were like two years old. Oh, okay. Then. Before, before you were here last time, I think the last time I saw you was. Is there any other yeah. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Yeah, I don't remember that one. <laughs> yeah. She, well, actually, yeah, she was, she was a long time. You were old then. Yeah, give me That's Jay. Is she taller than you? Oh, no. I'm always taller. 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 I'm Visiting, uh, Peter's niece, my niece, visiting from New York. And that's Jay. All right. <laughs> hey, Linda. Hi. Good to see you. It's been a while. I am. It's been a long time. <laughs> Probably. I think of you, I think of that video of running the Pacific Coast Trail. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God, I gotta hurry up and get to my dinner spot or there won't be anything to eat. Oh, yeah, that was one of my many movies. I may have take the worst of you, though. This place is kind of for me. That has air conditioning. I didn't even realize that we had a wedding thing. It was pretty tall, too. I didn't even realize that it said cool over at the end. So what do you do now? Are you like your family? Oh, God. He didn't know. I came here on the train, so that takes me three days to get here. Yeah. Again, I've been here since, uh, yeah, about a week and a half. Dave came on the train, too. Yeah, he did. We both, we both like taking the train. Yeah. How, the, the, how is it, really. the train trip? Um, it's not bad. I, I like it. Um, I always get the sleeper. Um, yeah. And one year, Alba came with me. And if you have two people in the sleeper, that's really tight. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Coming, oh, coming yeah. by myself is, is uh, fine. It's not, it's not bad. So, well, our experience with that, only a couple of times we tried to take I like the train, but then the sleeper part, that's problematic. Right. Especially at my side. They have bigger compartments, but of course, those are even more expensive. Oh, yeah. But, um, I, I like it. I enjoy the trip. One year I actually went both ways. Most years I just go one way and I'm fine sure. back this time. But, um, so Adrian's on her way to Australia, you may have heard, so she's here uh, as part of that trip. And Melby actually just coincidentally had work meetings in Seattle on Thursday and Friday. That's the only reason he's here. I think Bill put it in the email. Puppy reunion? No, just the fact that the puppies had been born. And so my mom forwarded it to me to tell me about the reunion, but I didn't even see that part. I was just like, oh, puppies! 
So they were born on Andy's birthday, December 18th, and we had, we had them for eight weeks. And they were very cute, they got bigger, and their tooth was awful. Really? <laughs> having to replace the log. And we decided, and what's fun is that we gave them away, we gave them away. And Rosie's like a very sweet dog, and Jenny said, oh, I'm He's, yeah, he's he, just and he was intended. He wasn't like he just was. He wasn't just walking the neighborhood. Yeah, so he, Rosie went out to visit Westview and came back with him and see him. Sure. 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 Six of our friends. Yeah, like if you have, ex, have an extra girl puppy, Rosie's sister just died of cancer. Oh, no, I was just. Four. And this uh, puppy is dead. Uh, so, 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 of my Yeah. Oh, yeah. If I lost Rosie, I'd like to know Rosie. So I said, I signed up with this puppy we live in Central Oregon. So I started getting texts. So I said, no, no. You could have a puppy. I started getting texts from him. I thought, this is kind of like a little puppy. I don't know, but it's okay. He wants the dog. He came, to, oyster juice. he came to pick the dog up. Came in his big red pickup with his wife's scooter. He got out of, he got out of his pickup truck and I went to meet him in the driveway. He kind of had some hip replacements. He kind of like a big old white guy with a baseball cap on. He had a political button on his. So. <laughs> I broke out and cried. <clears throat> I did. I just, I, on the spot, I cried. I said, how am I going to give my sweet puppy to a racist bigot? <laughs> it was great. So I thought, okay, Jane, you know, don't be prejudiced. Invite them into your home. <laughs> and they came in and they sat there for about an hour. And, and the puppy was happy with the woman. And, and they, they told me the story of how they like Irish setters. And, I thought, well, she will. I think she'll be loved. And she maybe will convince them not to go. <laughs> so then, and some brownies in the back. Right. So then I took her and put her in the big, put her in the big truck, and I cried. I'm sure they thought it was just out of cinema. I just, it was awful. I mean, it was. So then he sent me a text a couple days later and said, "Thank you for our little thing." <laughs> She's so beautiful, so grateful. Thank you. Thought, mm -hmm. Okay, that's why I. But still, Tim and I have had incredible conversations. She says, How? You know, you just made excuses by saying I'm not going to be prejudiced. Did you text back me in the dog area and have him like that? <laughs> and be like, I'll come get the dog in the morning. Right. Yeah. Well, if you will. <laughs> the thing is, there's. 40 percent or whatever it is of people in this country that I know, you know and he is, looks he's typical he looks <laughs> typical you know when you see the people at a, easy to stereotype <laughs> at a, yeah he looks just yeah, like yeah. he's on the front line of those rallies and well you know there's 40 percent of people in this country so it's it's to me you're going to meet run into them, but we're in a very isolated yeah. social community, and so I don't run into them, except I went to buy a rug the other day, and the guy for some reason said, oh, how about, how about Trump? And I said, yeah, how about Trump? He goes, I like him, but I'm not going to vote for him. And I said, if you're going to vote for him, I'm not going to give you my business. <laughs> so I, it was, I could do that because I would have been sensitized by my puppy love. <laughs> I don't think I don't think we met. I'm Don. Don. Don Bremner. And I'm Stephanie Steppy. And I think we sat here years ago outside when Carlos was doing one of his oh, yeah. South American meat dishes. But yeah. good to see you again. Good to see you. Yes. I'm, I'm the girl's older brother. Older brother. Yeah. Okay. Good to see you. Don, Don is 
our mother's twin brother. Went to SUNY but our mother passed away a decade ago. There's a thing in the oven. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, I remember the names. <laughs> so, how, how are you related to these people? Hey? Nolan and I are friends of Bill and Jane's, and Nolan goes way back to when Bill was a medical student taking a summer off to learn how to do research before he graduated. He learned to do research with two other medical students in my husband's research lab. He taught them for the summer. And then he and his first wife had two daughters, or have two daughters, and then Bill and Jane's kids were age-wise interspersed, so they used to get together a lot. I'm here, and the kids are grown up. And why is it the I gather you either work for a city agency or on a commission of some kind. I used to work. I worked for the University of Washington for 37 years. So um, my first project, I developed Washington State's training materials on child abuse and neglect. And I happened to have an office that was about 20 feet from Nolan, and I he gave me a six-month position to set up a new uh, division of his, and that six months turns into 11 some years. He retired from no, California, that, and I took his I job, and he got so, divorced about three years later. And so I met you before. Yeah, we got married. <laughs> we got more. So it's kind of, that, right? yeah, that's kind of how it all comes together. <laughs> yeah. So I got to kind of be adopted in, and I knew Bill from the university. I still remember when I got the call. He had moved over from the VA to the health sciences. Steph, do you know that there's animal sewage flooding my recently renovated lab? <laughs> No, Bill, I don't, but I'll be right down. Yes. So, yeah, I've known Bill. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's going to go out before dark. I guess you could maybe s scoot around there. No. You guys reenacting your mountain fall? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Dad. I had thought I heard you, but I didn't see you over here. Hey, I'm Rosie. Hey, I'm Rosie. Hey, Yeah, good luck. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they go out pretty much every day. 
over here. That's a full boat. Yeah. Eight people on a dog. <laughs> Historical society. <laughs> the historical <laughs> uncle. <laughs> well, she got the, she, I don't know what time it was. I think it is considered. Oh, what did I say? I guess I. So you guys made it. Yeah. Steve managed to arrest him. You guys get a late start? Yeah, a little bit. She was just telling the story about uh, the, what was it, Sawtooth Mountain? The Tooth? Yeah. Oh. We still have the video of it somewhere, but we can't play it anymore. It's on a VHS. I, <laughs> oh. <laughs> they, they, you know, actually videoed oh, the rescue. Yeah, that's the Dog the dog. So this is Dave, my cousin. This is Natalie, my daughter. This is Bogoslaw, my son-in-law. <laughs> so who were your parents then? Um, uh, my mom was Doris, his, his dad's his sister. Um, Doris was Don's twin sister. Oh, you guys are always married, so I'd be like, How are you doing with your video there? Pretty good. I got to get a lot of B clips in there, you know. <clears throat> That's why I was just filming the dog. Yeah, well, I mean, um, it's it's kind of a cascading thing. Wow. In Washington. Well, you live in Olympia. Oh, yes. He's a big male. Jackson just said. They've got another big male. Oh, they have two. Yeah. So that's going to be Fran. Washington. Washington. Yeah. Yeah. One is Rose's brother and the other one. That's what I talked to. What do you say? Yeah. 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 Well, that's why it's called the JPL is the Jet Propulsion Hut. So, during World War II, they were developing Jet Propulsion Hut. Yeah. 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 What do you think we're going to see? An awesome Tesla. Oh! Oh! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. And I am, I'm always, I'm always nervous that it's going to do something else. Maybe it's going to run you over. <laughs> yeah, no, it won't. <laughs> If everything is happening in this car is being recorded in Tesla. They have my name, they have this car VIN number, and they have where I am, where I am in the world. So do you plug it into 220 volt or 110 or how does it? It's a, uh, it's the 220, the same kind of thing that you would plug a uh, washing machine. Washing machine. How long does it take to charge at a station? Uh, it would take 30 minutes in the station if I plug it. For another 300 miles. For another 300 miles, and I, I'm sorry. How much do they charge you at this Tesla supercharger place? It's free. Oh. It's free for the life of the car.
Okay, so you can go sample with those little cups over there? Hmm, I think I'll go get Which way do we come from this way? 